I haven't played with the enchantment yet. Really, like, I've seen the power of the seismic um, elemental. That seems really powerful. And then the Skyraker Giant. So, obviously, those are really strong looking at the, um, the commons, wild and instinct. But, I don't know, the Flame Shadow Conjuring, I don't know if that's good or just really bad. Like, have you had a chance to see anyone play it? No. I wouldn't do the Nissa's Revelation. That one seems kind of skeptical. Yeah. Plus, they're saying on the Pro Tour that's going on right now that all the top teams are saying, like, during drafting, like, green is the weakest color. Like, you should avoid green. Which I'm kind of surprised by that because white-green is really strong. Yeah, white-green is really strong. Mm -hmm. Immediately rewarded with a Lightning Javelin. Or a Blightcaster. Or a Blightcaster, yeah. I'm kind of I'm kind of hip to the Blightcaster. Oh, yeah. Have you played it? Like, it feels like you have to really build around it. and. Either that or this Everblight Assassin and build around the Flame Shadow. Mm, no, I would take Lightning Javelin. Like, I, I see what you're doing with the Blightcaster, which I, I'm okay with that. I mean, that can't be really good. But, let's see, Blightcaster may be the Black-White, which we can still go into that. I think getting a Blackcaster this early, I do. I actually do like that, because it yeah. does give us time to build it. So, okay, I'm okay with that. So, which are you on board with? Blight, Blackcaster, the black creature. I like that. We're good. We're good with there. And now what? <laughs> I don't like that card at all. I was just looking at it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you click it again. I've been really impressed with the rock smaller. Well, I'm just saying, like, a stands um, out for... You like the prickle bore, and you're a big fan of that. Fiery Conclusion, I played one draft with it, and it just un was un underperforming. Just because I never had enough creatures. Even trying to steal their creatures. Going with the pickle. Yeah. The prickle pickle. I'm okay with that. It's um, Malakar, Coldblade. It's either Read the Bones, Either White Assassin, or the Coldblade, yeah. I like Read the Bones, actually. Is Black Red, Boros is more like fast beatdown. We're not doing a fast beatdown deck. <laughs> it doesn't have to be, I guess. I actually like Read the Bones over Eye Blight Assassin, but... I think I like Eye Blight Assassin. Yeah, okay. Or, I don't the Coldblade... Malakir Coldblade seems good. It does, but it's like good early and not good late. Yeah. Which I haven't played it yet. Maybe I got yeah. one once. I never drew it or something. I can't remember. You know what? No, it's probably the best card to get. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it has a lot of potential. Yeah. Gideon's Phallix, huh? <laughs> Is wide open? No, I mean, it's a 7 drop. Huh. So if we didn't want to do white, is it? Yeah, white's not open. White may be open, because you have the Gideon's Phalanx, Phalanx, and then really what stands out to me is the Naya Pilgrim's, the 3-2. But I'm not saying I'm not saying go white, though. I'm just saying, like, it seems like a signal. If we want to stick, stick here, I actually like the Dead Bridge Shaman. Yeah. That that's... always tends, it always is a two-for-one. may not be, like, you know, the most optimal two-for-one, but it's definitely a two-for-one. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Yep, get a couple of those. Maybe pick up an Oromancer comes around. Yeah. <laughs> There's an Oromancer that we... Yeah, get. I think that's probably... And now the white card on the left, the Totem. Um, heart, heart Beast? Heart, what is oh, it? Yeah. You can search up your weight. You can search up your yeah. bonds, suppression bonds. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Not really impressed with any of these cards. The slug? Like, or just take the rare. Just take the foil rare. <laughs> I mean, Stratswalk is good. Catacomb Slug isn't bad. Yeah, the Slug is more likely to be able to play, but it probably won't make the deck, so just take the rare. Is it 3-3 three, three that you gain 3? Yeah, but it costs 6. Yeah. You'll see another one of those. Like, you don't really want that in your deck. I played it once when I sideboarded in against a deck that... Like, I took it... I, I don't know. I don't know if it's the right player or not. Shambling Ghoul is really good. I liked, I liked the Ghoul. Mm -hmm. 
the clerk isn't bad. Yeah. But yeah, the ghoul, ghoul is definitely. Yeah. Might as well take the white card just to signal that white's not open. If we're going down white, you know. Uh, I think we're probably more on black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like base black. But that wouldn't take that discard card. Yeah. I guess they're, both, they're all junk. 3-3 <laughs> three, three flyer, though, I guess it's fine. Normally, like, vanilla test a 3-3 three, three flyer for 5 is... Average, slightly below average. Yeah. I don't even know what you want to take here. Yeah. Yeah, that, get that out of there. Not blowing up your enchantments. Good call. Alright, we got some power. I like my other deck better. <laughs> yeah, well, we're not through. We're only through pack one. We got Eye Blight, Ormancer, or Blightcaster, and the Weight. Yeah, it's okay. It's come. It can come together. Get a couple suppression bonds, a couple more weights. You're good to go. Yeah, it's a healing hand. I haven't seen anyone playing that card though. No. And you do replace itself, but it's a sorcery. If it were an instant, it may be playable. It is a sorcery. As a 23rd. Now it's a sorcery. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> so there's your black. Nice snare. <laughs> Alright. Where are we at here? Evolutionary Leap. Huh? It's a bomb. Evolutionary Leap is a bomb. You want to go... Just take it and hedge? No. War Oracle. Yeah, War Oracle. This is a bomb. Uh, what do you want back in this? Uh, read the Bones would be nice. Yeah, but I don't see that. I guess yeah. if all the Wilds might be alright. Warm Wilds or Slug may come around. But yeah, the War Oracle is really good. Yeah. This guy? I, yeah, I like that guy, actually. But, two of them, I don't know. Revenant, probably. Revenant, I don't, like, it was good in, in Tempest, right? But it tends to be just like a 2-2 flyer for 5. Mm. But, hmm. Yeah, if we're trying to do the enchantment thing, which I'd say we are, a 2-5, that holds back a lot of stuff. <laughs> the imp isn't bad. But, yeah, I like, that's what I was thinking, actually. The imp is pretty good. Maybe that, but I don't, the two fight, you're going to get suppression bonds, I guarantee it. And this totem to suppression bond or totem to weight is just so good. It's slow. It is slow. I think this is probably better, yeah. Mm, no, right. The power level though is a totem. I do like that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's fine. All right, so this is a good sign. The knight is actually pretty good. Just. White Knight, 2 2, first strike, except for the si pro colors, but. So the, the second ability, trying to get value of the extra land, is kind of weird. Like, if you are on the play. Yeah, you're not going to do that. Yeah, this is a 2 2, first striker for 2 is good. Yeah. Dead Bridge Shaman may come around, that would be nice. Um, Necro. The oh, Necromatic oh, Summons. From a graveyard, yeah. That's close. It's a five drop though. I'll take the two drop. It, it's really like a three or four drop. At yeah, two. double. Eh, it depends on how much white we get. We need some suppression bonds. That's what we need. They will come. Dark petition. Well, there's really nothing good in this pack. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of green. Dark Petition, I don't know if you're going to be playing that, right? Getting a card. If I get a board wipe, I'll play it. But... Yeah. What about the black, the rabid bloodsucker, the 3 2 flyer? Yeah, that's, that's another pretty. 5 drop, though. I don't know. It's like. Dark Petition is probably better if I find a card that goes with it. 
Yeah. But this is just good. And the white, the enlightened aesthetic. I've seen that do a lot of work. Because everyone has enchantments. But I think the rabbit bloodsucker is more powerful. And you actually don't have. No, you got one five drop to the totem. So that's fine. Hmm. These packs haven't really been good for any colors. Rune Servitor. Just another two drop. Wait, what does that rare do anyhow? It's, oh yeah. Oh, you put the lands. I think it's probably touch and learn as well. I don't, I've been thinking about that, right? You're really losing out. It tends to be a two for one in your opponent's favor. Like you I've got a first striker. What? I've got a first striker. Yeah, but still. You only have one first striker. <laughs> I've also got like. I think the ruined ruined servitude is better. Oh, uh, that's good right. Time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, it's gotta be this guy. Yeah, it's an enchantment. I like that, and it replaces itself. Kind of. Oh, you got a servant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you feel about veteran sidearm? No. 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 Alright, alright. I guess maybe the jailer. Eh, yeah, maybe. I, f I don't like the servant, the undead servant. Too much. Fitted imp is a good sign. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I mean, his tactician is good, but that yeah. imp yes. bad. Fed it up, just kill a creature. It's a lower casting cost. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like the slug came back. Yeah, which is nothing to be hey, too Hey, a revenant came back, though. Yeah. That's, that's not bad. I mean, getting it when it wheeled around. Now take the caustic caterpillar. Yeah, get that out of there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Barrier. Oh, yeah, take that. What does the casting cost look like? Yeah. Probably pretty good, yeah. Infernal scarring. I forget what. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Healing hands is in your three drop. Yeah, get that out of there. I wouldn't play that either. Quip creature gets plus one plus one for each enchantment you control. <laughs> yeah. That could be good if we could. We just didn't see as many enchantments, right? Yeah. Oh, do we man. pick that or do we just? I think we pick Reef Soul. Reef Soul is good. Yeah, Helm with Gods may actually wheel. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Too. Yeah, the Reef Soul is great. I don't think it'll wheel, but... And may I don't know. So yeah. Maybe, because maybe someone else is picking up the Suppression Bonds and stuff. But I like Reef Soul. Yeah. Ooh. He's yeah, good. He's good he? Yeah, he's really good. And you're not really passing up on anything in that pack either. Wow. I think the best card here is a possessed scab. Scab. But uh, yeah, murderous investigation definitely goes because it's enchantment. I don't know if it's good though. If it's playable. I don't think it is. I mean. It'd be playable if we had like two blight casters, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So I think at this point, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
Just whatever creature in his middle of it, yeah. Brave soul, alright, that's a good sign. Yeah. You may get the shaman back, actually. There's shaman or read the bones. Both both three drops, I like that. Read the bones. Yeah, yeah. you already have one shaman, you have sixteen creatures here. Yeah, I like read the bones. Ooh. Or your ghoul. I feel like it should be ghoul. Ghoul? Really? Yeah. Although you do have a lot of two drops, but I, I like ghoul. Ghoul's good. Okay. Assassin fifth. Yeah, I like ghoul. Your black is awesome. <laughs> We saw a lot of green, maybe we should have been in green. Hmm, that's a tough one. Wait or cold blade? I think it's wait. Yeah. It's removal or a little light on removal. It goes well with uh, Blightcaster. Um, hmm. I think that's probably pretty good. Yeah, here. we can rock that, yeah. They get Vigilance with Spell Mastery. I always have to check that. I don't have the spell mastery memorized on all the cards yet. Probably take slug out. Catacomb slug. Probably take this out. Yeah. But I don't know. We do have a lot of cheap creatures. Do you want another five drop or a jailer? A jailer. I don't see playing heavy infantry. Dark yeah. dabbling, regenerate creature, regenerate a creature, draw a card. Have we played that? I don't know if that's good or not. I've got one inside board. I don't oh, think. do you? Okay. Is that your first jailer? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Hey, that's good. Yeah. With the with my curve, yeah, I like that. Um, hmm. <laughs> you already have you already have one three three flyer, right? You already have one slug. I think maybe two three three flyers is better. Yeah. Yeah, let's take that guy. Classic caterpillar, so people aren't blown up. Probably won't pl never play the the uh, ox. Yeah, probably not. Not in this deck. This is not a great deck. But... No, it's not. Probably oh, green that, would have been. The mana's good. Yeah. And it's got some good stuff. Yeah. some power there. We get some synergies. Gotta take out one more card. How much do you like touch of Moon Glove? Okay. Yeah. Seems like a 10 7. Hmm. I've got a double white. I've got yeah. two double white. I've got three double white. <laughs> oh, and 9 8. Yeah. Uh, that should be fine. Yeah. yeah. And then I basically just have to mulligan a hand without black in it. Yeah. Okay, I like this strategy. That's a fast build. <laughs> uh, being able to sight in, you got some flyers. You got tactics. You got 17 creatures. The tac no, tactics does not fit that deck. The. How do you pronounce Gideon's <laughs> baby name? Cathone? Cathion? Is it Cathion's tactics? No. 
Oh. Kaisian? Yeah. Kaisian, Kissian. Kiss I think I've heard Kissian. I don't know if that's correct though. So. Well. Kissian. Maybe, yeah.